Welcome back to In La Cocina in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Mike Gonzalez. We are at the Coeur d'Alene Salsa Company, right off Northwest Boulevard. I'm with the owner here, Tony Geramonti. Glad that you're with us. Thanks, Mike. All right, we heard, we've heard a lot about this little salsa factory. First of all, we got to say, you're an Italian guy. How does an Italian guy get into making salsa? <laughs> uh, well, I, I've always cooked um, from many, many moons ago. Uh -huh. And uh, a friend of mine just wanted me to continuously make some salsa. And I said, wait a second here. Um, let's make some money at this and open uh -huh. a store. And, and you have a cool story though to kind of talk about where you started the restaurant right up the street and right. you know, how it kind of progressed into this. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, a gentleman that owns a restaurant, Porky G's, up here on Northwest Boulevard, a great guy, he uh, wanted me to make some salsa for his company uh -huh. or for his store. And um, I, I said, yeah, you bet. So we, as I started getting the whole process of uh, looking how, uh, how much effort and time this is going to take to make it, I said, you know, I have a great opportunity to open a store here, um, a gourmet store. I'm focused on many different flavors and I want to make it a, a, all my products at the top, top end gourmet. And the biggest thing that surprised me is the variety that you guys have. We're kind yeah. of sampling a, yeah. a bunch of the stuff that you've got, the peach. Um, the ghost pepper. The, the super ghost pepper yeah. that Dwight's going to make a cameo on. And, <laughs> Hottest and pepper in the world. Black beans. So what what makes your salsa different than, you know, say the run of the mill that you're going to get Great. You know, over at Albertsons or something? You bet. Good question. All of my salsas are 100%, absolutely no preservatives, gluten-free, fat-free, very low in sugar, and very low uh -huh. in, in sodium. So, um, um, for instance, on Weight Watchers, um, my scale come, um, comes up to about two points on the Weight Watcher. So I get wow. a lot of people uh, coming in because it's very, very healthy. Co um, salsa just became the number one condiment in the country. It passed up ketchup last year. So it's, uh, it's very, very popular. So um, my salsas are um, very fresh, um, very um, uh, natural, and no preservatives. All right, I love this section. Yeah. You've got your hot sauces, Bloody Mary mix. Then again, you got your ghost stuff. <laughs> so you got it going on in this yeah. section too. Yeah. Now the ghost chili um, is really a specialty item that I'm really focusing uh -huh. on with the ghost chili. Um, so I brought in several different varieties uh -huh. of ghost chili. For instance, um, the ghost I, I carry a full line of Bloody Mary mixes. Now this is a ghost chili Bloody Mary mix. Ooh. People but love is that the blood. Get you over a hangover. Or <laughs> this right here will get you over a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> That'll wake you up. <laughs> this also will have, make you have a hangover. So, yeah. <laughs> um, this, this the great thing about this product is you won't have to spice up your Bloody Mary mix. Everyone is always doctoring up their Bloody Mary yeah. mix. Not hot enough, and not hot enough. Oh yeah. This will work. Now, for the milder folks out there, I have an original. This particular original brand is just, um, excuse me, this variety is just very mellow, real mild, and then all the way up to the habanero here. Now the habanero has got a lot of kick to it, so yeah. if you like, good morning, that'll, habanero. That'll, that'll light you up. Yes. <laughs> and then you got your hot, other uh, hot sauces here as well. Exactly. Now these two items here I want to show you. This is a jalapeno honey mustard. Ooh. This here is so diverse because it can be used for basting uh, baby back ribs chicken breast on the grill, and it's the best sandwich spread you'll ever have. Jalapeno honey mustard. Sold me on that. Sold. Well, I wanted to let people know too, you, you guys carry uh, Sergio's tortillas. I do. Best tortillas in town, so it pretty much goes with all your salsas, hot sauces, anything you want, your burritos, so. Exactly, if anyone has not had um, Sergio tortillas out of, from De Leon's um, in Spokane, I'm the only one in town that carries yeah. Um, Sergio's tortillas, um, and um, it's, it's the I know they're the hands down. They're the best. They're the freshest in town. Okay, time to sample this. Tony's gonna make me some black bean salsa on a Sergio's tortilla, a garlic one, and uh, you were pushing this on me. This is gonna this, be good, huh? This is good because this is the this is one of the most popular items uh -huh. that I have, and the great thing about this, great after school snack. Oh yeah, for the for kids. Sure. Put this right on the tortillas, but great, great salsa for parties. So. Everything is in here. You can add a little bit of cheese yeah. to it if you'd like. Uh, I add a little sour cream to mine and right, um, wrap right. that up there. Wrap this thing up. And the garlic flavored Sergio um, tortilla from De Leon's. Right. I'm gonna join you, I haven't had anything for breakfast yet. Oh yeah. Dwight's gonna come on over. He's gonna try this ghost pepper. Yeah, just to make sure you guys see. Yep, ghost peppers. The it's ghost the pepper. Stuff. Hottest we, pepper in the world. We may need a new cameraman after this. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Oh boy, this I, looks really good. Are you sure you can handle this? Yeah, well, I, I, think I so. got 911 on speed dial. Thank you very All much. Right. So for those of you who uh, think habaneros peppers are hot, <laughs> I might as well go ahead and challenge myself. Here we go. Oh boy. And what's this like? 20 on a scale of 10? What? One to 10, it's a 15. So it's above the scale. It goes off the charts. This is pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is good. <laughs> I might have to get some water. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, it, it's all been so good, Tony. We really appreciate it. You bet. It. Get off the bed no, there. That's all right. Mike, hey, appreciate your time. Oh, it's been great. great. So, Coeur d'Alene Salsa Company, next time you're on Northwest Boulevard, right next to Cafe Carambola, right? Cafe Carambola, yes. So that's the marker right next door. You can't beat it. All right, we'll be right back after this. In the Kitchen is brought to you by the Hispanic Food Network. Visit our website at www.hispanicfoodnetwork.com.